The Book of Werewolves, by Sabine Baring Gould delves into the folklore and history surrounding werewolves, exploring the cultural roots and societal implications of these mythical creatures. Published in 1865, the book provides a comprehensive analysis of werewolf tales across different cultures, examining their origins, variations, and the underlying psychological and societal factors that contributed to the creation and perpetuation of such legends. Bering Gould begins by establishing the ubiquity of werewolf myths, transcending geographical and cultural boundaries. He traces the roots of these tales back to ancient times, citing examples from Greek, Roman, and Norse mythology. By weaving a tapestry of diverse werewolf narratives, the author creates a rich panorama that emphasizes the enduring fascination with shape-shifting beings throughout history. The author's meticulous research is evident in his exploration of historical records and legal documents. Baring Gould draws attention to the trials of individuals accused of lycanthropy, presenting a fascinating intersection of superstition, legal proceedings, and societal beliefs. He skillfully navigates through various cases, providing readers with an insight into the socio-cultural context that allowed such accusations to flourish. The analysis highlights the role of fear and hysteria in shaping perceptions and fostering a collective belief in the existence of werewolves. Baring Gould's exploration extends beyond the werewolf myths themselves to encompass broader societal trends and attitudes. He connects the prevalence of werewolf legends to periods of social upheaval and economic instability, suggesting that the fear of the unknown often manifests in supernatural folklore. This socio-anthropological lens adds depth to the analysis, positioning werewolf tales as reflections of deeper anxieties within the collective psyche. Furthermore, the author delves into the psychological aspects of werewolf lore, exploring the symbolic significance of transformation and the duality inherent in the human condition. Baring Gould suggests that the concept of the werewolf serves as a metaphor for the primal, animalistic instincts within each individual, drawing parallels between the beast within and the societal expectations of human behavior. This psychoanalytical perspective adds layers of complexity to the narrative, inviting readers to reflect on the dual nature of humanity as portrayed in folklore. The book also explores the evolution of werewolf myths over time, noting the subtle shifts in the portrayal of these creatures. Baring Gould traces the transformation of werewolves from feared monsters to tragic figures, reflecting changing societal attitudes towards the supernatural. This evolution, he argues, mirrors broader shifts in cultural paradigms and moral values, shedding light on the dynamic interplay between folklore and societal norms. While the author's scholarly approach is evident throughout the book, he does not shy away from acknowledging the speculative and imaginative aspects of werewolf mythology. Baring Gould embraces the ambiguity inherent in folklore, recognizing that these tales often serve as a canvas for cultural fears and desires. This nuanced perspective adds a sense of humility to the analysis, acknowledging the limitations of attempting to unravel the mysteries of ancient legends. In conclusion, Sabine Baring Gould's The Book of Werewolves is a comprehensive and insightful exploration of werewolf folklore, encompassing historical, cultural, and psychological dimensions. The book serves as a testament to the enduring allure of mythical creatures and their ability to reflect the complexities of the human experience. Baring Gould's interdisciplinary approach, blending history, anthropology, and psychology, contributes to a nuanced understanding of werewolf myths and their profound impact on the collective imagination across centuries.